Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's review checklist. The color beanie crew? Check! Tom Allen? Check! Edward Scott? Check! Rebel Nelson? Check! Great! It looks like we're all set to go. All right, gang! Places, everybody! Ellie, you are on in 20 seconds! 20 seconds? Oh, we gotta go! Yeah! Oh, come on! Oh. Uh. Uh. This is gonna be fun! Oh, you said it! Oh, I'm so excited! Here's a kiss for good luck, Ellie! Mwah. Thanks, Bo! 15 seconds! Oh, I better up so we get prepared for the intro! And I better get prepared to do my, um, setup. I better prepare to do the intro after the preview. Ten seconds! Oh, oh, okay, it's just me. Yes, Allie, you really gotta do good. Okay, okay, five, four, three, two, one, and we're live! I'm Pom Pom, and I'm Wendy Okupa, and we want to wish you a happy first day of spring. Yeah! Hey, Pom Pom, I wonder what's coming up next. Well, we have a weeknight update with Ellie Mueller, then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson, and extremely early with Edward Scott, and they're all to come on Nick at Night. Take it away, Ellie, you superstar! I welcome the Goink YouTube Dog Show! And yes, it is the beginning of spring! Yes! 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 The YouTube Dog Show is... Bill! A wild spring fever tonight! It's week and a half there with Ellie Mule! And now, a man who has the spring fever! Yes, I know. I can not just bring fever, huh? Come on now. Mr. Ellie Tony Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now update. I am Ellie Tony Mueller. What is up, my guys? I'm just... Come out, everybody. Come out. Hey, boss. Happy first day of spring. <laughs> yes, thank to you, buddy. Woo! Do you want to go on with the rest of the show? Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Now, this week's count of the week question is, what are you going to do uh, this spring and why? Go over to the community tab post and answer that question. All right? Now, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano. The color may include the Camp Lady and Eva of 2004 are responsible for most of the things that you're going to see in here on this program tonight. And they also have our child's product when it's time. Along with... Alex K's Toon Tone, William Charles Bingham, the cartoon fan, Rob Corley, Wyatt the Squish, Chris Boy 2, Walker with Anson, Jazz Racky and Clank, Jordan Villarreal, and the Met Guy. All right. Woo! I have said a mouthful already, but please check all those people out if you haven't done so already. Now, you're ready? And I'm ready, then let's get started, shall we? What's up? What is up? Uh, 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 what uh, uh, is up? Uh, uh, what uh, uh, is up? Uh, uh, what is up? Uh, what is up? Uh, uh, what uh, uh, what uh, uh, is up? Uh, what uh, uh, what is up? What uh, uh, what is up? What is up? Bum, 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 bum. All right. What's up with spring? A very gloomy season. Warm weather, lovely flowers, and a huge supply of hugs, kisses, and snoogle. Don't ask. Now, spring usually begins on either March 20th or March 21st. That's right, let me repeat that there for you folks again, right? Spring usually begins on either March 20th or March 21st, but began today, or, uh, as though you're probably watching this, uh, 
no, during the wee hours of the morning yesterday because it is a leap year. Yep. And I'm going to say something that might uh, make you want to cringe, but I don't care. Everyone loves 2024. There you go. Now, watch this. The temperatures in the USA will be very warm this spring. That's right. The USA will be very warm. Wait. Florida will be cooler. Hold on. I'm getting a breaking news bulletin. That's right. It is official. Susan Cain will eat Florida tomorrow. That's right. I'm glad I got that off my chest. Hey, it's time for another top eight list. Presented by the Pink Cat and MP. Here we go. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thanks very much, boss. Tonight's category top eight signs that you are having a good spring. Number eight, your winter coats are being eaten by wolves. Number seven, you haven't been eaten by a bear. Number six, you haven't been annoyed by the naked toe. Number five, you are far away from mummy me. Number four, you and your date finally had an opportunity to kiss and get frisky today. Number three, you're watching this show after spending an entire day trying to get ready for a barbecue. Number two, you have been able to start wearing sunglasses again after six long months. And number one, you didn't get eaten by Susan Cain because of Susan's major plan to eat the entire state of Florida. Good job. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Good job, boys. Thank you very much. You know the drill, hashtag week and update, hashtag get over here for late night, hashtag get over here for a dog room, hashtag spread the love around, and hashtag all just and Get those things to turn on social media, please. And drive right, like the thing, subscribe and bro, share, we can chat it up in the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please don't go anywhere. We have a lot to get to tonight. We have Ever Scott coming up. We have Special Delivery coming up. We have Walter vs. Little Choir coming up. We have a moment for everyone coming up. And yes, we will have a little talking time. That's right. We have a lot to get through, so please don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the rest of the show. And yes, this show is still called Week Not. All right, now here it is, your final night. Spring is here. <laughs> Spring! If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a troglodyte, there seems to relief from this hardship and grief. Thank goodness for Nick Abbott. Don't you just love it when you order new carpeting and then find out that padding is extra, installation is extra, and you have to wait weeks for delivery? I feel I have to tell you there's only one company that includes padding, installation, and 72-hour delivery at every price from $6.95 a yard. Plus, you get a Bissell shampoo or a Zoom broom sweeper free. And I'll tell you what, I'll give you 60 days to make your first payment. Why, Empire? I didn't know you cared. 588 empire Best ever, Scott and the boys! Hi, Ed! Hey, boss, what's up? Hey, <laughs> nothing much, Ed, except for the fact that the uh, spring has just begun. 
Oh, I love spring. Oh, spring. Why do I feel like moving? Ah, uh -huh, spring. That's enough, Ed. We don't want to be sued. Oh, right. Sorry. That's okay, Ed. That's okay. I'm excited about spring, too. You gotta kill, all right? All right. All relax. Cool. Now, let's look at another classic episode of Special Delivery. Now, Glitch Bear, you don't have to edit me. Why not, Cyborg Bear? I mean, I really do need to edit you. Well, it's because I do not want to have glitchiness inside of me. Besides, I'm Cyborg Bear, the most important bear that there ever is. Yeah, Glitch Bear, you really do need to trust on Cyborg Bear on this one. Don't worry, Investor Bear. I'm not going to add glitchiness inside him. I am only am going to make some adjustments. What kind of adjustments? Well, to make sure if you're fully powerful. Hmm, I guess he does have a point. Oh, be quiet, Investor Bear. What? I mean, Glitch Bear absolutely does want to make sure if you're full, fully powerful of your fully equipped armor. It's not armor, Investor Bear. It's my robotic armor. And besides, I'm not a knight. He does have a pu 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 point there, investor. Bu 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 bear. Ah, well, I guess you could totally say that. Now then, I'm fully ready. I'm ready to do anything. Wait! I'm not even fully done yet. Oh, Glitch Bear. Cyborg is very touchy, you know. That was incredible. That was fantastic. And now, the Multiverse Disability Choir. <laughs> Oh my little aura. Are you crying? Are you crying or out for Lucario? I think you did. I think you really did. Oh, don't cry, Bestie. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here, Bestie. I'll cradle you no matter what. Come here. Come to Lucario. The bear. The bear. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. You'll be okay. I promise. Oh no, bestie. The bear, the bear. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Lucario's here, Lucario's here. I'm Multiverse Disability Choir. Will you help me sing a very special lullaby for Princess RKG? Sure, Lucario. Anything for RKG. That's good to hear, Diamond. Let's sing along. Aw, oh, the bear, the bear. Please don't cry, RKG. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here. We'll sing you a very special lullaby just for you.
It's time for a moment for everyone. Huh, I wonder what Allie has in store for the folks tonight. Gee, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Well then, Allie, take it away. Yeah, Allie, love you. Mwah. It's finally sprung, and right now you're thinking about, you know, like getting rid of your winter coats and everything else, right? Well, that is a smart move, however, you have to remember this, alright? Even though spring has sprung, weather can still change every single moment, alright? It could be extremely warm one day, and then extremely cold the next. One day it will be rainy, the next day it will be sunny. So, what I want you to do is to be prepared, alright? Because when you are prepared, everything will be alright. And, you will be very, very, very happy. Like, my dog, Rico. Rico, hi. Okay, maybe later. Okay. Uh, we go for a little busy right now, but you understand what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> All right. Now, since it is the beginning of spring, let's do something spectacular. Let's do something extraordinary, something revolutionary. Let's just have a little talking time, huh? Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> listen to this, folks. Alright, listen to this. Alright? As I have mentioned earlier. Alright? Spring usually begins on either or either March 20th or March 21st. However, because it is a leap year this year, 2024, 
and because February received an extra day, spring began one day earlier than usual. That's right. And here's something interesting. All right. <laughs> you want to know when spring will end this year? That's right, it will end on June 20th. Meaning that the following day will be the first day of summer. All right? Now, of course, you know what that means, right? That's right. That means that right now, now this is part of what we like to call the vernal equinox. In other words, you know, uh, the days and the nights are pretty much the same length of time. All right? As we go uh, deeper and deeper into the spring, we will see a lot more sunlight and a lot more daylight. That's right. And then, after that, we will reach the uh, summer solstice which will be the longest day of the year. And after that, we will start to see, you know, uh, the sunlight, you know, uh, less and less. Uh, now, after the summer solstice, you know, we will get less and less sunlight and more and more moonlight, you know, culminating in the big event, which is the autumnal equinox. That's right. We have already passed the uh, winter solstice, you know, and that was the shortest day of the year. And since then, we've been getting more and more sunlight. All right. So it makes sense for uh, the Weather Channel to say that, oh, we're going to have. Warmer and warmer weather all across the United States of America. Well, that is the case for everywhere in the U.S. except for Florida. Because Florida is going to have you know, slightly cooler weather. Then again, the entire state of Florida should be very, very careful not because uh, there might be uh, some uh, hurricanes or uh, tornadoes heading through uh, the state of Florida. Excuse me. Not because uh, hurricanes and uh, tornadoes will be uh, rushing through Florida, but because Susan Cain will probably eat the entire state of Florida. That's right. I don't make up uh, the news stories, folks. I'm just uh, reporting the new stories the way that I see them. All right? So, there you have it. Week now updates uh, exclusive team coverage of the beginning of spring. Tomorrow night, we will have our team coverage of John Cena. So please be here for that one, all right? There's the news. And I am out, Steve. Four by four. Walk. And cut! <laughs> That's a wrap! Great show, everybody! You all did a great job! Thanks, Ellie! Yeah, thanks! Until tomorrow's show, everybody! Okay! Seriously, guys, what do you think of the Naked Toad? I love him! Me too! Me three! What?! No, we didn't! Thank you. If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a troglodyte, there's instant relief from this hardship increase. Thank goodness for Nick. At night.